Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about user form in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is user form in Excel. So what exactly is a user form? So user form is a graphical user interface that helps you have a live interaction with your worksheet which enables you to enter or eliminate data from your Excel worksheet through the graphical user interface. Now let's get into the practical mode and start the Excel workbook. Now we have launched our Microsoft Excel. So let us create a blank workbook for now. Now we have the blank workbook or worksheet. Now, before we get started with the user forms in Excel, the fundamental step is to enable the developer menu on the toolbar. Here you can find the developer menu. So basically, it will not be enabled as default. To enable that, you need to get into file menu. And inside the file menu, you can see the last menu that is the options menu. Select that and you will have a dialog box on your screen. And inside that, you need to go into the Customize Ribbon option. And inside the Customize Ribbon option, you have the main tabs. Scroll through the main tabs and here you can find an option called Developer. By default, it will not be enabled. It will look something like this. But to enable that, you need to select the Check option in this and click on that and select OK. Now the Developer option will be enabled on your tool menu. So now you have your developer option on your toolbar. So to get started with user forms in Excel, click on the developer option and here you can see Visual Basic. So click on that Visual Basic and now you have your new window opened right on your screen. So this is the Visual Basics for applications. So here is where you create your user forms. Now to create a user form, just select on insert menu and you have the option called user form. Now a new user form will be created for you. And that is user form 1. So this is the user form which you can design and enable to interact with your worksheet and help you insert data or eliminate data. For now, let's try to create a simple user form for employees. Now here you can see the controls option where you can find the various options to provide an object into your user form. So it might be a label, it might be a text box, it might be a multi-page, it might be a command button, it might be a frame or a toggle switch, many more. For now, let's make it simple. Let's create a label. So this is our first label. We have just dragged and dropped it. And let us name it as, okay. So let us select it and rename it as employee ID. Now let's insert another label. Drag and drop, as simple as it looks. Select that and rename it as employee name. Now another one, you can also copy that and paste it. And this should be our employee phone number. Now we have our three labels on the screen. Let's try to insert the text box. Now this is our first text box for employee ID. Now let's copy and paste it. So another text box for employee name, copy and paste again. And the last text box for employee phone. Now let us try to insert the button. So the first command button, 
let us rename it as insert now let us relocate it to a little bit left now let us try to insert another button and here it is the second button would be refresh sheet Uh, the refresh button will play the role of uh, clearing the text boxes in case if there is some data already entered if you want to clear that you can just press on refresh and it will be cleared now we have our user form so let us try to rename our user form so here you can see that we have the properties tab and inside the properties tab you can always rename it and to rename it let us go into caption and rename it as employee data and that's done so our basic user form is ready now let's get back to excel sheet so remember that we have created three labels employee id employee name and employee phone we need to create the exact same columns here so employee id let us expand the column a little bit now e m p l o y e e name let us also increase the width and finally we have employee phone there you go yeah we have our three columns let us select all the three columns and uh, align to middle You can also format your cells. Let us select the green color and text as white. And let us bold. Yeah. Pretty good. There you go. So we have created our sheet and it's ready now. Now, the last part remaining is we need to code this particular user form. So coding in the sense, we have two buttons over here, right? So those buttons should be performing some kind of operation. So for insert button, the operation should be inserting the data which we have entered into these text boxes. So to program it, just double click on the insert button and here eliminate everything and paste this code. So basically what we did is we had this particular code segment so this is the starting part of the code segment and this is the ending part of the code segment. So we are writing our code in between these two lines. So what did we write here? So end of the row is sheets of sheet name. So this is the sheet name. Right here we have our sheet name as sheet 1. So that is the sheet name where we want to perform the operations and range from A to rows count and XLR row that is we are counting the number of rows here that particular statement will count the rows till the end of the sheet automatically and after that it will shift to text box value that is once the row number is counted that is from 1 to n it will start entering data from the first available row that is a column a column then once the a column is finished it will enter into B column and subsequently into C. And once the text boxes are entered the data, that is, let's come back to here. So once we have entered all the text, that is the employee ID, name and phone, after selecting the insert button, automatically these three text boxes should go blank again. You cannot have the same data again in your text box. So that is why we have included text box value 1 null text box value 2 null text box value 3 null so that was for command operation insert now we should program the command operation for refresh double click on that and you have the code option over here so this particular code will be automatically loaded from the click button 1 now for click button 2 you need to add some more data that is refreshing so whenever you press the refresh button the text should go blank so that will use the same code from the previous click button 
or the command button, paste it over here and they should perform the clearing operation and it's done. Now close this. So select the employee data, user form and here you can see the run option. So select that run option and the sheet has the user form here. Now let us enter the employee ID as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and employee name as J-O-H-N, okay caps lock is on, J-O-H-N John, employee phone as some um, 1800-231 and select the insert option and the data got inserted. Now let us try to insert another data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Employee name WIC and employee phone number 18003345. Yeah, by now you might have guessed I'm a fan of John Wick. Yes. And yeah, there you go. We have entered the second data over here. Now let me show you another trick where you can place all this user form as a macro and replace this by just one single button. So whenever you press that button, this data form or user form will pop up and you can directly start entering data. So for that, let's get back to the Visual Basic and stop this particular execution and you got your user form back. Now you need to insert a model. Get into insert option and select the module or model. Yeah, it is module, not model. So inside this module, you need to write the command for macro. So here it is. So what we are basically doing is a m p l o y e e data dot show. Or we can use an underscore and get back to user form and rename this as data. Cool. So what we are doing is entering the subject as enter employee details. This will be the macro name. And when this macro is called, the employee data user form should be shown. And once it is shown, the code should be ended. That is end subject. Now we have designed our module. Now let's get back to the sheet. And here, go to the developer option, go to the insert menu and select button and draw the button somewhere. And now you can select the enter employee details macro and press OK. And now you have a button here. Now you can edit this. Edit it as press to enter. Enter employee details. And there you go. Done. So now whenever you press this particular button, the user form will activate. Okay. And you need to play this. Okay, the error was related to the employee data sheet name. We had to rename the employee data from user form to employee data. Initially, it was just user form. We have renamed that to employee data, and now the code is fine. So let's get back to the sheet. Now, if you press this button, the user form will automatically start. Now, let us try to enter the data again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 this time and uh, some name let's enter as jennifer and her phone number would be one eight double zero three four five zero nine eight some random number and select insert and the data has been inserted here so this is how you work on user forms in Excel. Now with that, we have come to an end of this session on user forms in Excel. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this particular session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below. Our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.